this isn't a sign of a coming biblical plague. After a heavy rainstorm, an island in the Middle East suddenly turns blood red, the land, the rivers, and even the sea. It looks apocalyptic, but believe me, this isn't pollution and it's definitely not blood. This is Hormuz Island in the Strait of Hormuz, and the reason it turns red goes back hundreds of millions of years. Hormuz Island isn't a normal island. It doesn't require volcanoes or coral reefs. It sits on top of a salt dome, a huge mass of ancient salt buried deep underground. When under the ground, salt behaves rather strangely. Under pressure, it flows slowly like thick toothpaste. Over time, this salt pushed upwards through the Earth's crust, dragging deep rocks and minerals with it. Among those rocks were iron-rich sediments. Once they reached the surface, something important happened. The iron reacted with oxygen and water, forming iron oxides, especially hematite. That's the same mineral that makes rusty metals red, gives Mars its color, and stains entire landscapes crimson. Hormuz Island is hot, dry, and barely covered by plants, so when heavy rain finally falls, it hits bare rock and soil. The water erodes the surface, picks up tiny iron oxide particles, and carries them downhill into rivers, beaches, and the sea. For a short-lived time, the island literally looks like it's bleeding red. So what kind of looks terrifying is actually just geology in action, something that happens rather frequently. It doesn't mean the end times are coming because it's been doing it for half a billion years. 